Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to recreate the Taunt style of video that uh, seems to be blowing up everyone on YouTube. So it's like the very clean, minimalistic, like smooth style that are like really short as well. So yeah, uh, as you can see uh, in the preview that was just shown, that is what we're going to be learning in today's video. And this is a very easy tutorial and it's very easy to follow along. So let's get straight into it. The first things first, oh, you want to have DaVinci Resolve open. If this is your first time editing with DaVinci Resolve, just go ahead and create a new file. And then down here, click on the setting here, make sure you're on 1080p 60 and make sure the timeline frame rate is 60 FPS. <clears throat> and if this is blacked out, you're gonna have to delete your entire timeline. So you're gonna click on this and press delete and then completely delete it. And then now you can change it. But I'm going to go ahead and press Control Z there just to redo, uh, undo what I just did. Uh, first, you will need to download RSMB. Uh, this is a plugin. This is a plugin, and it is basically aftermarket motion blur, and it is really smooth, and it is what Tom used to make his clips really smooth. So just go ahead and download it and from the link in the description below. You should get a file that looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it, and pr press yes, and then click next. And then um, it's just gonna install for you, and it will be in Russian. It won't be a virus, so just don't worry about that. And then this will sh this will won't show up for you. This is just for me because I already have it installed. So if this does show up for you, just go ahead and click ignore. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click abort here because um, I already have it. And then I click abort. But if you do just continue, there will be a finish button, and then you just click on that, and then you restart DaVinci Resolve, and then you should have RSMB. Alright, so next, what you're going to do, uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete everything that I have here, because uh, I'm restarting. So first, what you want to do is get your music. Uh, this song will be linked in the description. It's a really chill, lo-fi song. That's kind of the style of song that uh, Tons uses, but you're going to go ahead and find the first beat drop of it. Uh, this first beat drop is what we're gonna do to uh, make the like fast editing start um, and the clip that I will be using is my clip and I'm not like the absolute best player so um, just keep in mind but if your clips are really good then you should use that but next what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag in the clip that is that you want to use so for me uh, this is the clip Overall, I kind of mess up a few times, and this was just me free building earlier, so I'm gonna just go ahead and start it where, like, where everything, where I don't mess up anymore. So it's, it would be like right here. When I start running, I'm just gonna go use this. And then I'm gonna end it where I mess up, which would be pretty soon. Yeah, I mess up here. So I'm just gonna cut it like right here. Uh, use Control B to cut, by the way, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and find the part where our first edit starts. So around here, this is where the first edit like starts, and this is where we're gonna make it full speed. So before this, we're gonna make it fifty percent speed. Tons does this in his video sometimes. Oh, uh, this is completely optional. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. But I personally really like the look of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select the clip. We're gonna press Control R, and then we're gonna go ahead and add a speed point onto the like onto the frame where we want the uh, the hundred percent speed to start. We're gonna change uh, the front portion here uh, into fifty percent speed. And then what we're gonna next what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and click on the X here right click on this we're gonna go ahead and go into retime curve and go ahead and click on the drop down arrow click on retime speed and I select this white dot and we're gonna click on this button right here this smooths it out so that it turns from 50% to 100% slowly and smoothly so that it doesn't look like as choppy <clears throat> So yeah, that's pretty much it. And now we're gonna go ahead and click on this white box here to exit out of that. Just gonna drag this back up so we can see this. And then we're gonna go ahead and find where we, we're gonna go ahead and find the frame and we're gonna press M to mark. So just press M on that. And then we're gonna go ahead and drag it back on here. We're gonna cut off the clip here, cut off the song here with control B again. And we're gonna select all these. We're gonna drag it to the beginning of the timeline. This is how it's gonna look for now. So yeah, that's pretty clean. We're gonna go ahead and just fade it out really quickly, just like that. 
it just fades out into black really smoothly and then next what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add in text here just going to add this in and then we're going to just cut off the song when the text ends so we're going to just go ahead and fade out the song really quickly just like that and we're going to go ahead and click on the text and we're going to go ahead and open up inspector here you can change the title to whatever you want so i'm going to just go ahead and click type subscribe like that and then i'm going to go ahead and use the font dimbo i'm not too sure if this is the font that uh tons uses but i'm pretty sure this is pretty close to the font that he uses so yeah so right here you can see the font pretty clean i will link this font down in the description below as well but you're just gonna go ahead and increase the size a little bit and yeah that's pretty much how it looks now well next what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in the rsmb this is the motion blur so what we're gonna do is you're gonna go go ahead and open effects library on the top left corner here we're gonna go into effects we're gonna go into open effects actually and then we're gonna go ahead and search up rsmb and this should be it and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna just go ahead and drag and drop onto the clip that you want the rsmb on just drag it on here really smooth and you can already see this is already really smooth you can change the settings of the rsmb if you want to but in my personal opinion i feel like the default rsmb looks good enough so i'm just going to keep that and this is how it's going to look I'm gonna go ahead and make the fade out a little longer because that was a really quick fade. But yeah, that looks like a really good fade. So yeah. Uh, next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, put our cursor or our timeline thing here on top of uh, the clip here, on top of the, your building clip. And we're gonna go into Fusion right down here, this button here. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and press Shift Space and we're gonna type in CC. CC and we're gonna go ahead and pre press Enter. Oh, that didn't work, so we're just going to do it again. And this is the color corrector. This makes it so that you can change your colors around a little bit and make it look better. So personally, what I do for this is I put the saturation up a little bit. I put the saturation up a little bit, and I put the contrast up a little bit. I put the lift up a little bit, and the gain up a little bit too. And this is how, it's, this is how it looks. Uh, I obviously need to mess around with the settings a little more because... I'm gonna put the gain down a little again and then I put the lift down a little too. So yeah, um this is how it's gonna look with this is how it looks with, with the color character and this is without the color character. So you can add in the color character if you want. I don't know. I really I, I personally like the look of it, so I'm gonna keep it in. This is chop editing right now, and I realized that I forgot to tell you guys the best render settings for the videos like this. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna be showing you the best render settings now. So you want to go to deliver. This is where you render out your projects, and you're gonna go and set custom here. And then we're gonna go ahead and change the format into MP4. Uh, uh, codec is H.264. Uh, resolution you're gonna go custom and we're gonna go put in 2560 and then we're gonna put 1440 uh, this is 2k so yeah this is what YouTube likes the best uh, if you upload this on YouTube it'll look the best and then we're gonna go ahead and put the quality and we're gonna put autumn we're gonna put restrict to the maximum number you can put so we're gonna go ahead and put like 10 million or something press enter and it's gonna automatically put the best uh, resolution that it allows here and this is the best bit right uh, this these files will be pretty big so for example a three minute montage might be like three gigabytes or so if you use these render settings but it's 100 percent worth it if you upload it on youtube it'll look so good so yeah that's pretty much it and let's get straight back into past chop then huh. yeah that is pretty much it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed this video this was very simple very short so yeah and see you guys in the next one make sure to subscribe if this helped you out and yeah that's it